In Ireland, we live surrounded by a rich heritage that's close enough to even touch across thousands of years. Here in the Argadine Estuary in West Cork, side by side with modern day living, we have many reminders from the past that stand like sentinels guarding their memory. Sunrise over the estuary adds another day to our heritage. The east window of the friary frames the strengthening sunlight as it lights up the inner courts. Timaleague Abbey on the wild Atlantic Way secures the legacy of Saint Mulliga, our local saint. He established a monastery here in the 6th century as reflected in the town's name, Tig Mulliga, Irish for Mulliga's house, his name and memory preserved in stone. But built on the site of what was believed to have been St Mulliga's cell is perhaps the not so well known Church of the Ascension. To the unassuming eye from the outside, this modest church built in 1811 looks like most other rural churches. But that is until you go inside. Amazingly, just about every square inch of the walls has been beautifully decorated in minute and ornate mosaics to tremendous effect. A kneeling angel holding out a shell-shaped baptismal font offers an awareness into the spiritual realm. Stained glass windows beam colourful rays of radiant light throughout the building. Up high in the chancel ceiling are the recently restored paintings of angels that glow with a golden presence. Named after the Ascension of Jesus, this church offers an aura of peace that uplifts all who go inside. The parishioners are few in number, but they are doing their best to safeguard the immense heritage of this church. Sadly, over the years, water ingress has become a real problem and the mosaics are beginning to spoil. So, a professional conservation plan was drawn up two years ago and is now being enacted upon as each stage can be afforded. Um, I mean, the Church of the Ascension is, uh, is, is a, literally a unique project because the mosaics are, 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 are the only really, it's the only church of its kind in Ireland with mosaics like that. And it is, it is a gem as people always you know, people who come across it can't believe that it is a gem. Um, the, work, the roof has been uh, repaired in the conservation manner, so obviously everything has to be done correctly and appropriately for the, for the building and using appropriate materials and techniques. And that's been done by specialist conservation contractors um, under our supervision. Full planning permission has been granted for this work and phase one has just been completed. Darren Platts, the current church warden and conservation project manager, explains what has been um, so, achieved so far. What so we've done far. is we have we have basically replaced the roof, and you can see some of the coping stones on, on, on the on the gable ends have been done as well. So that's been our, that was our phase one, which we have completed, costing approximately hundred thousand euros last summer. Um, our, the phase two this summer will be to try and plaster inside and out the tower make the tower and the, the, I suppose the reason for this is we want to try and keep the water out top water getting in which is causing which is damaging the, damaging the mosaics inside and um, so that's the plan for this year is to plaster the tower inside and out and get that done get the whole tower finished and then move on the following year to plastering the rest of the building which will then stop any water ingressing from outside which will, st which will stabilize the external envelope of the building um, and then in following the following sort of phase three, phase four will be internal 
where we will be installing underfloor heating um, and controlling the humidity in the building again to stabilise mosaics which we want to, want to keep for future generations. The mosaics were first placed here in 1894 by Robert Augustus Travers in memory of members of his family. The North Wall Memorial remembers Spencer Travers who died in Gallipoli in 1915 aged only 22. Perhaps the most unexpected mosaic memorial is the one opposite this on the South Wall. This was paid for by His Highness, the Maharaj of Gwalior of India, in gratitude to this locally born man, Aylmer Martin Crofts. Educated as a doctor at UCC and at Edinburgh University, Crofts had left Ireland for a very distinguished career as an army surgeon. It was during this time he became personal tutor and physician to the Maharaj for 20 years. On an unforgettable occasion, he had helped to save the life of the Maharaj's son, for which His Highness proved extremely thankful. Architect Jeremy Williams wrote a companion guide to architecture in Ireland in 1937 to 1921, he said that this church transcended the sectarian divide between Irish Catholic and Protestant, the Indian Muslim and Hindu, personal friendship breaking up hereditary distinctions of caste and colour. In the same spirit of friendship and magnanimity, May this building continue to be a shared heritage for all people. Father Patrick Hickey of the Church of the Nativity here in Timaleague points out the importance of the ascension of Jesus for us all. Timaleague, and I just want to say a huge thank you to you and to your parishioners for the support that you've been showing us at the Church of the Ascension here in Timaleague. The reason why we are interested in your church, we the Catholic of Timaleague Parish, is simply the Lord told us that we should love one another, love our neighbours, and surely that includes our neighbour's church, and also the title of it, the Church of the Ascension. We all hope to rise from the dead one day and to ascend into heaven, so that is our common hope. Also, even from the human point of view, uh, it is a very beautiful church, uh, it's a wonderful piece of architecture, we know of the beautiful mosaics there, we know too of the beautiful stained glass windows, uh, we are looking forward one day to seeing them all uh, preserved and conserved properly and I would enjoy somebody give us a little talk on the spot pointing these beautiful things out to us and looking forward to that day with you. Well thank you very much Father Hickey. You are most welcome. It is I say our duty as human beings and neighbours and Christians. <laughs> May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm.
thank you to all who have been supporting this conservation project. Through watching this, I hope you feel that you have touched a part of the heritage of Timaleague and of St. Mulligan. If you would like to come and see the church in person, we are holding a special open day, this Ascension Day, the 13th of May, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. You would be most welcome. Costly as this project is, it is so important for us to guard Ireland's heritage for future generations. Please consider helping us by donating. Your gift, no matter how big or small, will help to save the mosaics. Donations can be made through the GoFundMe page at timaleaguemosaics.ie. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your help to preserve our shared heritage. And until...